This is what it's like to take care of a corgi. I start off the morning by greeting Gatsby and showing how much I appreciate him. And in turn, he shows me how much he is dedicated to being my corgi with tons of corgi kisses. He is such a good boy. In the morning, he is very quiet and patiently waits for me to wake up. Next, it's time for me to make his breakfast. I feed Gatsby twice a day. For breakfast, I give him a raw, freeze-dried food, which I rehydrate. This is my new hot water dispenser I got. It's really cool because you can set the water temperature, so I set it to a warm 160 degrees for Gatsby's food. For breakfast, he gets Dr. Marty's Nature's Blend. I give him a little over half a cup of food. And for dinner, I feed him a cooked food. I learned from people in the comments that it's important to separate out the cooked food from the raw food just to avoid digestive problems. And then I wash my hands because that was raw meat that I was cooking. The freeze-dried food benefits from giving a lot of time for it to rehydrate. So in the meantime, I take Gatsby out for his morning potty. And as you can see here, you can tell that Gatsby truly appreciates me. I can tell, he's like, thank you so much for taking me out. Thank you. As you can see here, Gatsby's just showing so much appreciation. So today we're actually going to spend our morning walk going to pick up my electric car that has been charging at the public chargers. I charge my car here overnight about once a week. Okay. That usually holds us over. And then we hop in the car. Time for us to drive back home. When we re-enter the house, we're always greeted by the smell of the raw food rehydrated. The smell is very potent and it makes Gatsby so excited for breakfast. I wipe Gatsby's paws with some unscented baby wipes from Target. I find that these are like the best ones. By this point, the food should have been fully rehydrated. The reason why you want to use warm water is to make sure that the water is fully absorbed. The food absorbs warm water a lot better than using cold water. However, you don't want to use hot water because that would end up cooking the raw food. I just drain out the excess because the food already is full of water. Oh, there you are. And then I add Gatsby's supplement. This is called The One by Friend of the Pack. And this helps with Gatsby's grass allergies. And so this is Gatsby's food. His diet is going very well. We're able to keep him at about 25 pounds. After he finishes eating, Gatsby always comes over to greet me again. He always thanks me for all the meals that he gets. If ever a dog could show appreciation, it's Gatsby. I value everything that you do. And here are some point of view shots of me petting him. Every morning we just spend a few more minutes just staring into each other's eyes. We have to cherish every moment that we have with each other. Today's a gift. That's why it's called the present. Look at you! Yeah! There is a saying, he might only be here for part of your life, but for him, you are his whole life. And that's really what it's like to have a corgi. car washed and I brought Gatsby this time. There's Johnny by the way. I bought this stuff. What is a snow foam auto wash honeydew? So we're gonna does try that, that out. Smell like honeydew? Yeah, and it does. Let's taste it. <laughs> it smells like chemicals. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, sorry Johnny. <laughs> makes it so shiny. <laughs> that is so shiny. Okay, we did it. Now it's time for us to wash Johnny's car. <laughs> Whoa, where is this corgi going? Good job! 
<laughs> you guys, in the last vlog, I had mentioned that we have been working on a really, really big project, and it was gonna be a surprise today. I thought I would share with you guys what that surprise is. We are going to be one of the main vendors at CorgiCon! That's me, we're gonna go to CorgiCon! So for those of you who don't know, we were a vendor in 2019. That was the first time doing it. It was a lot of work and I got so discouraged after doing it. I don't think we were ready for all of the chaos that ensued. But this time I have been preparing for weeks and we'll be ready. This is gonna be one of our only meet and greets that we're gonna be doing. It'll be at Ocean Beach on June 18th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, it is a free event. You don't have to have a corgi to go. And Gatsby and I will be there at our booth. We'll be doing some pictures and selling some of our merchandise. Gatsby, are you excited to meet all the fans? <laughs> on top of that, we are working on our summer merchandise drop and the merchandise will be released first at CorgiCon. Okay, so I thought I would give you guys a sneak peek at all the merchandise that I've been working on. First off, we are gonna be restocking and re-releasing the Take It Easy t-shirts. It's gonna be in a new ink color. We have a new t-shirt and tank design. I'll give you a sneak peek, but this is just like a sample that I made digitally. Apex Predators, Leoplerodon, Megalodon, and Corgi done! <laughs> I'm also working on like two more new things that I'm hoping that will come in time for CorgiCon. That includes some really cool recycled shopping bags that uh, they look so good. They're like these woven shopping bags. And on top of that, we are working on a mug. And whatever we don't sell at CorgiCon, they'll be available online afterwards. For those of you who can't make it to CorgiCon, of course, we'll be vlogging the entire thing so you can check out and see our entire booth and what it's like to go to CorgiCon. We still have so much to do, but I'm so excited to meet all of you guys. So if you live in the San Francisco Bay Area, make sure to check out CorgiCon. I'll put the link to the information in the description below. You can come over, say hi, meet me, and hang out with like a thousand corgis on the beach. Woo! It's gonna be a good time, yeah? It has been six weeks since I have replaced half of the rock in the aquarium, and yesterday I filmed a little bit. Check it out. It's time for me to do the other side of the aquarium. We're gonna be replacing all of the rock on this side. This is a lot of rock. As I mentioned before, we're replacing the rock because the tank has old tank syndrome, which means that the bacteria in the tank that lives inside of the rock have pretty much died off. So we need to replace the rock. I have some rock in here, leftovers from last time. I just went and bought a little bit more. So rock is really expensive. They charge per pound. So this, just this, was $50 for rocks. It's man-made rock. You're not taking the rock from the ocean. And also, because you don't want to be introducing microorganisms and bacteria into your tank that you don't want. Right now it's dry rock and it's dead. It's pretty much guaranteed to not be introducing anything that you don't want into the tank. So that's the best practice. Gatsby's like, uh-huh, yep, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna make a rockscape today. Time for us to start building. Today, Tyler is coming over to help replace the rest of the rocks. I'm excited because it's gonna look so good. We are gonna be done with the aquarium. Drain some of the water. Massaging the coral. <laughs> oh, you got like half of it. It's so slimy. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like an alien arm. It feels like a, a bunch of gummy worms you left in the water. He's attached from here. Oh, he all attached the all way down. The, what? Yeah. All right. Look at that. What do you know? The dirty sand. <laughs> if it was a tank, you can't even see anything anymore. Tyler put the corals back inside. We gotta thank Tyler. Hooray! Hey, Thanks, hey. Tyler. You're welcome. <laughs> good to see you. So this is what the tank looks like this morning. It's looking pretty good. I gotta add the sand, but I'm trying to like let everything settle first. I was like looking around, I was like, what? What's going on? And then I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, right now I'm gonna try out this new place called Dozone with uh, my friends. I'm meeting them. Hello! We're gonna get dumplings, because it's a dumpling place. Got out this. Menu. This is all the stuff that we ordered because we're starving. Look at Johnny's shirt. I'm 100% human too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't 
Keisha's eating it the proper way. That's the soup dumpling. It has soup inside of it. I'll try eating it the proper way. <laughs> and then you put a little bit of ginger if you want. Then you put some of the vinegar and then pop it in your mouth. It's like a Chinese gusher. Oh, that's the shrimp one. <laughs> Everything is so good. Oh, there's a whole shrimp inside. Yeah, there's a whole shrimp inside. You have oh, one. Hit it. Oh, oh there's, there's juice inside. inside. It's a bao bun. It's like ready, but there's soup inside and pork. What did you guys think? It was good? Obviously, this was the lowest rated. <laughs> yes. I would give it like eight and a half, yeah. I think. Really, eight and a half? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. I it was pretty good. Eight? I think it eight. Oh, okay. 7.83. 7.83. Oh, okay, we're headed out. Johnny has his 100% human shirt, and Acacia has her 100% corgi. corgi shirt. Yay. We're going inside the Asian supermarket. We're in the Asian market grabbing stuff. It's fun. <laughs> Look, the, the $40 for the strawberries. How many strawberries are here? Three, six, seven strawberries. How much is that for a strawberry? Forty dollars. A little less than six dollars a strawberry. Oh my gosh! Whoa, and this one. Oh, oh my gosh! It went. It went on sale. It was one hundred twenty dollars. <laughs> Remember last time? This is for the melon. But oh, should we get one? It's such a good deal. It's fifty dollars. It's more than fifty percent off. It's like sixty percent off almost. Is it going bad? Is that one? Thirty-nine ninety-nine versus four ninety-nine. Oh. But this one looks like so much better. Yumi doesn't look that good. Yeah, that's true. Are these Wagyu? $30 for that one. For, for three, three slices. Uh, paper thin slices. Oh, this one's $20. For three slices. That's a steal. I know, what a good deal, you guys. Spaghetti. Tomato spaghetti. Oh, and, and it comes with like Parmesan cheese. Wow, <laughs> my stuff, you guys. I got rice. I got cooked rice. <laughs> More rice and soy sauce. How do you pronounce that, Acacia? Goon. <laughs> I'm super excited right now. I'm walking over to meet up with my buddy Vince. If you guys remember him. Look at that! Hey, oh it's man! Been a long time. Hey. How you doing? We've been Good. Traffic. Uh, We're in Vince's car, his new car. He always has a new car each time I see him. Another new car. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Wow, so fancy. Yeah, this is the, the new 2022 uh, Genesis GV80. It's like a bird's eye like view. Bird's eye view? What? How does it do that? There's a drone that flies out. And it, it hovers above no, the No, it doesn't. <laughs> Liar. But look, look, it's like a bird's eye view. Oh, and this it's is like cool a 360 too, like, degree like camera. This, and it's like, whoa. What? What? Oh, there's a car behind us. It's so fancy. This feels yeah. like the future. Yeah, it's nice. I start the car. Uh huh. Let's say I don't like this parking spot. I'll press a button. It's like the Tesla. Watch out, there's people there. Okay, I'll slow down <laughs> so I don't run them over. <laughs> Nobody's in the car. <laughs> Look at all his toys. I know he has oh so many God. toys. Yeah, so this is my new place. Vince hasn't seen my new place. This is the this, first uh, my, my new place that I've had for like four, four three or four years now. <laughs> Gatsby, no, don't do that. Don't it's do that. It's not gonna work, dude. It's Gatsby, don't work. do that. So originally, Vince was the one who helped me like start my store online and saw all my merch. He like helped set up the, the calendar, the first calendar. The very first Yes, calendar. the first one. The and one that's worth like, what? $7,000 now? <laughs> Can you believe Making these calendars all up. go up in value? Oh, wow. <laughs> they look exactly the same. Do we? Like 10 years Do we? ago. Oh, oh probably. So. Optimal seats. Look at that. Life that's above awesome. all. <laughs> It's pretty awesome. I think yeah. so, except you're not wearing glasses anymore. Yeah, yeah. Lacing. <laughs> Vince is checking out the plush. Oh, QC, quality check. 
Let's double check. Double checking. Yup, exactly the He's same. He's like, what? Their own Gatsby. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone can have Gatsby. <laughs> he's like, he's like, who is this? Who's that? It's oh, like, that's like me with my albuterol. Yeah. <laughs> going to my albuterol. It's Bertha. That's Bertha. <laughs> Weird things on Amazon. I made a joke about it, and then and then somebody bought it for me. I was like, who would who would buy this? Like, why do you want a decal, wall decal of like this old lady? I haven't been with Vince for like over a year. We haven't hung out in like so a long. long time. So I nice know. to see you, dude. I know, man. I've known I've known this guy for over a decade. That's way true. before you too. Way before. Right, you right too. after I graduated. Um, yeah, that was like one of the first people I met. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's Vincent, by the way. What? Good morning, it's so early. Look at us now! I know! Look at us we now! We look the same! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make your dinner? He's like, yes. Okay, it's now time to make Gatsby's dinner. For dinner, I feed Gatsby just food for dogs. This is a fully cooked meal that comes with chicken, rice, and veggies, and I weigh out exactly 5.6 ounces. It's especially important to weigh food when your dog's on a diet. Since it's the summer, I add some fish oils to help with the skin. Buy one with a pump, then you won't get it everywhere. And then next, since it's allergy season, I'm giving Gatsby some local honey. It must be honey from your neighborhood. I got it from the farmer's market. I'm also giving him some rosehip vital. This comes from Australia. It is really good for your joints. Then he gets an eye supplement. And then finally, some more the one from front of the pack. So right now I'm driving over to pick up dinner with Vince again. Um, we're going to 10 Butcher, the Korean barbecue place. You can choose between one, two, three, four, five. Oh, there's 10 because there's we're at 10 Butchers. Oh. oh man, this looks so fun. This is Kevin, by the way. How you doing? He just bought a house and a car. Yeah. <laughs> we're celebrating. And then today he bought a new car. Uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. So we're celebrating. Yeah, we're celebrating. <laughs> That's our bonchon here. All the stuff, we got the brisket and the flat iron steak. Patiently <laughs> waiting, you're like... Yeah. The 10 Butchers has some of the best service, I would say, in the Bay Area. You get your own personal cook to cook all the food that you ordered for you in front of you. Wow, it's like melt in your mouth. Life is good. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy life. That's it. No stress. Just enjoy life. Thank you. This also has Wagyu beef in it. Best job I've ever had. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Try it. Seafood. Seafood. <laughs> <laughs> this is hot. Yeah, watch out. This is one right here. Go ahead. Vin's got a fork. She only gave it to you. I know. Here you go. You're struggling. <laughs> She's like, do you need a fork? I can't fork? use these. I can't use these. These oh, are really? like, yeah. I need the like brown ones. Oh. oh. Is that good? It's not good, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. mm -hmm. We're done. We, we finished. We're eating our dessert. Yeah. Good. Oh, oh, good. Good. Right. Oh, it's good. I made it home. I've been watching Stranger Things. He's like, oh my gosh, it's so scary, right? I'm on the last episode. I'm on episode seven, so I'm gonna be done. Finally, I'm gonna keep watching it, but we're gonna end the vlog here I thought I would give a shout out to somebody for using the secret word in the last vlog in the last vlog The secret word was sunny and I thought I would give a shout out to Kevin in the comments who wrote down Hey Ryan, I'm currently 23 years old I discovered your channel during my junior or senior year of high school when I was looking at what you should know about college videos I didn't think that six years later I would be a year graduated from college still watching your vlogs even on my saddest cloudiest days your vlogs always manage to make them more sunny 
thank you for sharing your life with us. Make sure to include the word Corgi Khan in your comment. That is today's secret word for the vlog. That will let me know that you got to the end of the vlog. Other than that though, I'm going to continue watching Stranger Things. <laughs> and I'm gonna head to bed after that. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up and check out our merchandise. I've been working so hard on it. Other than that, we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night! Hey Cassie, check out this awesome fan! But first, we gotta go and grab the recipe ingredients from the supermarket. Let's go!